Hello everyone, today I will show you how to build a challenge in CodeMonkey. For this, first you have to sign in to your CodeMonkey account. Once you sign in to your CodeMonkey account, you will be redirected to the courses section by default. In this section, you will see all the courses that are available in your account. As you can see, there are three coding adventure courses in CodeMonkey, which enables us to create our own challenges. To assign these courses to your students, go to My Classrooms section, click on the classroom that you wish to assign this course and then go to courses and then click on assign to there are many coding concepts we can learn from this coding adventure courses and the programming language used in this courses is coffee script to let the students build their own challenges after completing a course we have to go down and then assign the course called challenge builder from the teacher account we can directly go to my creation section and then create a new challenge for the students, they will have the section named as creations instead of my creations and then from there they can create their own challenges. The first step in building a challenge is deciding on which coding concepts to uh, build the challenge. So in this example, I'm going to use for loop concept. Then click on create new button under my challenges section. You will be asked to write your welcome message. In the welcome message, you can write hints for the challenge. This is the area where we write the challenge solution, solution for your challenge. Before that, uh, give a name to your challenge and then you can see your name reflected as an author for this challenge. On this stage, you can delete the objects and add your objects as well. But the main character in the challenge is monkey, so you cannot delete the monkey. But you can change the uh, background, you can change the objects and also you can bring in other animals. You can remove the default function buttons and add your function buttons required for your challenge. Since I am using the for loop concept in my challenge, I need this function buttons such as step, turn to, distance to and for. Now write the solution for your challenge. If the solution for the challenge is correct, you will be prompted with a dialog box to write your end message. We need not have to necessarily mind about the configuration section because it is about the objects and animals on the stage. So it will be there by default, which means like there will be uh, X and Y position and rotation for each of the objects and animals on the stage. So if you see here, when you move the monkey, the X and Y position of the monkey in the configurations section also changes. After making any changes to the challenge solution or in the configuration section, you need to click on the submit button. If you do not do that and directly go on to saving it and then sharing it, you will be prompted with an error message. After that, you can save the challenge and you can share the challenge as well. You can 
uh, share the challenge privately which means only the uh, author can see the challenge also you have the option to share the challenge to the classroom whereby your students your classmates and your teachers can see your challenge and you also have the option to publish to go to To see the challenges built by your students, you can go to My Classrooms and select the classroom. Once you open the classroom, go to Showroom and there you can find all the challenges built by your students.